we are live. Let me focus on. So no, nobody, so the face will be in this uh, video. <laughs> if you're in there, it's just from your chest down, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's kind of primitive. Uh, and we like your jackets, too. If you want to thank you. importing clothing, we'll go for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, can, I custom uh, I tailored this. Um, yeah. It's a man's style. Man's style, yeah. But the women can just put it behind my shoulder, it would be fine. Okay, I think I can see that. So, um, thank you for coming to this third workshop with the Longxiang uh, Sumia or Chinese Penny group um, in San Diego. Uh, beautiful botanic garden. Um, this is a great time to plant uh, birds because spring is uh, the breeding season and we have birds around uh, as the Chinese uh, uh, tan poems as you know, every morning we wake up with the same birds uh, after rain. <laughs> um, so that's kind of a, a mood I have. So um, the, the subject matter is uh, specifically the blue heron. Uh, <laughs> As by request of your organization. I'm very um, pleased to do this. Uh, I started this series uh, with this painting in 93, as you uh, see the on, on handout. Uh, so this is the demo that I did uh, based on this. This one was done, the handout was done on, on computer paper, actually. <laughs> uh, I used gouache to correct <laughs> some, you know, you don't even see that on handout. But that's a, uh, was done uh, in a hurry before a class, you know, I just uh, draw that. So that just um, come out. Uh, I haven't changed for, for almost 25 years. <laughs> I'm fast. So, so that time, yeah, it's very really good. Yeah. So yeah, I did a lot of uh, um, uh, t-shirt and speak of my garment, you know, I did wear my, my but I, I, do. I do, I did almost wear that shirt because that would be, and my wife said, we should be more formal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so more traditional, yeah, to, to be, uh, look like, uh, you know, a master, not to wear a t-shirt. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, if you go to... Uh, You're in Encinitas. <laughs> yeah, I, I just heard in the a, in a radio, radio, on a way, uh, you know, the Facebook uh, founder is uh, today wearing the same, yeah. you know, like first a time. formal, first time, yeah. yeah. So, that, yeah, it's supposed to be formal <laughs> and invocation. Um, not, not casual, okay. Anyway, that won't affect me to do spontaneous painting. Uh, <laughs> so um, the the blue heron is a, a, a um, great blue heron is a, a unique uh, bird in North America. Uh, it's a, another symbol of uh, um, the United States, maybe, uh, and the, like body gold. Mm -hmm. Coming birds also unique to North uh, America. Um, so I, I try to use Chinese media to paint, or to to paint the local subject, uh, subjects, uh, objects. Um, so I started to do this um, just to, to, you know, because there's demand, so people uh, see them around, right? So um, and uh, when I started this business about 20 years ago. Uh, we registered the domain name, Blue Heron Arts, because uh, there's a company called Blue Mountain Arts, mm -hmm. which is cool. Uh, it's in the same greeting card business, so I registered this. But eventually we didn't use it for greeting cards, we used the card for you. That's the business we, uh, I, I, I um, ran, uh, you know, uh, as an as a entrepreneur, <laughs> kind of. Um, so we sold that company uh, that's uh, in the turn of century before the stock crack. Uh, anyway, that's a long story. Just uh, you probably have heard of me um, on the internet. So that's a story that you know we we were husband and wife company. It's uh, doing business as a company, but uh, we're just a family business basically. Uh, and that's our American dream. Uh, I really, uh, I, you know, I. My dream is to be a professional artist and teacher. So 
So that, that um, I think I, I, I have realized that. And with the dog and the hummingbird in the garden, <laughs> <laughs> a nice home, that, that's, yeah, I, I'm totally happy with America. <coughs> and uh, so uh, the, this is my, you know, my, I try to make the birds happy, that's why, you know, the, hum, the, the birds has expression. Some birds may have different, uh, uh, you know, uh, characteristics. But I like to see the, the blue heron as a hermit living in the, in the uh, wetlands, distant away from the viewer. So I don't paint the dagger-like sharp weapon, uh, like the, the, the fish catch, catching tool, like the mouse. I, I that's the, uh, just make it like a gentleman, <laughs> uh, very, very elegant bird. So I combined some characteristics of uh, uh, a crane, maybe some egrets, other small egrets. So it's a, it's a. Um, I like the color blue. That's I call it blue heron. It's a, many people say they can recognize it from London, you know, far away. It's my heron. So uh, I try to. That's why it's the logo kind of signature style. You can create your own uh, birds. You know, it's the expression of your own personality and uh, life experience. So uh, birds has lots to do with, uh, um, yeah, they have a character, you know, basically. You can express yourself through the expression, the movement, and so on. So um, let's, let's start painting, I think. Uh, so this is the, the same, let me just put it on the, yeah, on the counter behind me. So we'll, we'll use uh, absorbent paper. Uh, you can use uh, mulberry paper. So I'll also have some some uh, demo of the parts uh, with a small paper. Then I'll do a complete painting of that. So I'll, I'll, I'll illustrate some parts. As a, on, on the handout, we start from the back, and uh, then we, we do the... Uh, can, can we move your... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So... <coughs> I use a little bit of uh, um, ink. This is concentrate blue ink. Everything is blue. Okay. <laughs> I didn't br bring any other color. I got uh, uh, a br what do you call the blue series of uh, Japanese uh, colors. It's uh, flower dish. Yeah, flourish. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Flower dish. Flower dish. Flower yeah, dish. with uh, all blue tones. Good. Yeah. So just yeah, it's. It's easier to use because uh, I don't have to deal with the dry tube things like that. Um, okay, I use uh, one of the soft brush. You can use the super wash or, or the magnolia. That this this kind of brush uh, for the for the body. Okay, this is more more uh, you can load more moisture. You can also use uh, large uh, wolf hair, maybe like soft on the softer side. We have. Uh, uh, ox ear hair brush. You, you can also use large wolf, long, long bristle. It's also um, okay, I think. As long as you can load a lot of uh, moisture. Let's just do a medium size. This is like a silver wash brush you, want, you already have. So I, got, I wet the brush first with water, then um, dilute it to get a light ink. You can even start with water, you know, to to create uh, uh, some um, interest. Um, you know, the, because the body uh, is like uh, the feathery, right? You want to have the smearing effect, so you can you can even uh, put some water, just uh, like that, and then you can you can brick it with a little uh, darker gray for the back. So maybe I should just you know just do the body part, then the neck part, so part by part. If you are left-handed, you might do the, the on the on the other side. So you can reverse the handout. Uh, I'm not sure you just to see it. Yeah. <laughs> so I just do my 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 left hand. <laughs> <laughs> so my brush is held at a slant position, like a um, side brush stroke. Um, so the, the tip of the brush could be darker, 
Uh, you can add it uh, if you want, but if it come out okay, that's okay. Um, you can, uh, you can, you, but when you add, you, you, you add a darker tone, not the same tone, to break it. Then it bleeds. Uh, so it starts from light, and then a little darker gray. Okay. Um, you can do a back view, uh, like more. Um, I, I will still lean to the left or right a little bit, you know, uh, not exactly to the to the middle. So the tail, I mean, should be on, on one side still. Right. So you can also do the chest. Um, the chest should be a little lighter. Uh, but if it, in the front view, uh, just above the same, you know, just like that. So it's all over, long over shape, uh, kind of. You don't have to complete the oval or the, the, the whole shape. Mm -hmm. So no completeness. Um, I, I uh, sometimes I add the dark tail or, or the, 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 the feather, dark feather. That's more like a crane, though. Mm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so I try to be careful not to do too much. Uh, sometimes you know it's okay. Uh, not everybody can tell the difference between crane and egret. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's just too, too, you know, too, too much for a painter to understand. Um, I keep studying uh, the difference. Uh, no, I, Last month we were in Sarasota. Uh, we saw the the, 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 the spunky bill, the woodstock, the, very closely. So I learned a lot more of the water birds. I try to not change my original design today. Just you you learn from two kind of approach. One is to copy, and you don't have to worry about it, what it look like first. Mm -hmm. Then you go to nature to uh, observe and create your own. Before uh, that, you, you need to know the strokes, to learn the strokes by copying the others, uh, others' style. So you've got uh, uh, two inspirational sources here, right? So today I try, try, try to show you my stylized birds, not, not the real, real one. But uh, although it's based on the, the uh, inspiration from nature, okay? So um, this is the, the back stroke that, you know, how that I will start. Uh, and just put the, just to dry. Then I'll do the the neck part. That's a little more uh, difficult. So you, yeah, you would you would use the. Uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> there are two kind of uh, uh, position basically uh, when. The blue heron uh, standing still or fly is um, folded. It's very different from heron because the neck structure is different. I just learned <laughs> from internet. So uh, they can fold very tightly, almost like a Z instead of an S, right? A Z, especially the, yeah, just like, so you, you very tight. And then uh, you can do the S uh, when it's expand. But on top, they all, uh, yeah, more, more uh, like a, mm -hmm. this is Mulberry number one, Mulberry number one. It's a nice, uh, smooth texture. Um, so the, you know, it could be um, just vary all the positions. Um, you, can, you can do a, a S to the, to the left, to the right, I don't know how to, uh, opposite, yes, right. Is that uh, paper sized? No, it's a, uh, okay, that's a good question. I call it semi-sized because sometimes it tends to bleed less, sometimes it tends to be bleed more, but it's not as to the extent of uh, um, the rice paper, unsized rice paper, so I call it semi-sized. Uh, with each batch, the, the uh, absorbency varies. Yeah, so this current batch is very absorbent. Um, so it, it's unsized. Yeah. I, I like it because uh, it gives more depth. You know, um, 
it keeps the gradation uh, in one stroke. May I ask, is yeah. that like peach? Yeah, it's peach. Yeah. Oh, peach, good, yeah. Good. Peach paper or causal paper. It's more very, yeah. In Chinese, we call it uh, peach. Um, yeah. Yeah. Causal is uh, more better, yeah. Okay, the, um, let me do uh, some more extended neck. Are you including the head in that neck? Is that, oh. or do you add the head separately? Um, <coughs> the head is the first half like that. Okay. And so then you can separate, uh, yeah, you can separate it. Um, I think many artists uh, tend to do it one stroke, uh -huh. um, but uh, even you s you do it uh, separately, you try to keep it, uh, um, try to keep it uh, like one stroke. Mm -hmm. You know, you can even com combine two strokes when you do a, a orchid leaf. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. But if you have that kind of skill, you can do it, <laughs> and you know, just like one, almost like one one stroke. Because this paper is forgiving. There's no watermark, see? Oh. Yeah. So right. it's almost, yeah, it's, 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 that's why I like it. Yeah. If you use a rice paper, uh, you have to do it one stroke more. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be, it depends on timing. If you do it right away, the watermark is narrow. If you do it in five seconds, the watermark is like a, yeah. it's three, five millimeters <laughs> already. So it's, there's a gap between the strokes. So you be careful with a different paper, you may adopt different uh, approach. Excuse me. On your website, you sell it on the causal paper or on the P paper? Um, Mulberry. Mulberry. <laughs> yeah, we call it number one. My wife uh, just labeled it. The smooth one without the fiber is number one. Um, I didn't bring here. I, we do have number two on the side, the table for sale. The, the, we got, got uh, streaming fiber in it. So it's more for landscape for me. It's less absorbent um, than this batch, this, this version of uh, Mulberry number one. Uh, sometimes it's the same, but see, this time it's less expensive, uh, less uh, uh, absorbent. Okay. Um, should I do the beak or you, you can see that? Uh, the okay. So for, for doing the, the beak, uh, next step, you can use, uh, uh, I would use, uh, you know, just regular basic uh, wolf hair brush, or you can use a small, um, like a, this is an oxygen hair brush, or you can use a happy dot maybe. I didn't use happy dot. Uh, because it, when you are worried about it, uh, smearing, you use smaller brush and go to uh, less ink. Right? And I should use a paper towel. Okay. Thank you. So use paper towel <coughs> to dry the bottom of the ink. I mean, the dry the bottom of the brush, the heel of the brush, uh, and then load the dark, pure pure ink. Um, just so you can you can touch un until wet without a. Um, I I try to make it to smear so you you don't make the same mistake. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, you can see if I touch the same size I want, it will expand than than what I expect. So you, you if you if you do the just you know smaller and you can add it just this is how I, I should do just mm. yeah, it's like smile smiling uh, smiling uh, okay um, you can drag the brush it's easier but uh, uh, normally we we hold the brush straight um, mm. to do the beak. You can do just like a, a, a water, I mean the stroke of uh, water, uh, calligraphy. So you keep the uh, concealed, keep concealed stroke, right? Keep centered the concealed stroke to indicate the bone, boneness, the boneness, but not less um, bone, bony, 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 bony quality. Yeah, bone, bony stroke. Mm. Okay, bone stroke, bone stroke. So this is the bone stroke. And the legs are, uh, are a typical bone stroke. Let me do the legs next. So we'll combine these uh, elements. 
Let me, let me, let me just add the legs on, the, on this one, OK? <laughs> OK. Um, so um, yeah, I think uh, we still have to do like uh, the, the, the chest and limbs. So I just leave it. I do another one. So maybe we can see. Otherwise, you forget the steps. Uh, we just do another. This is the, the, the legs. <coughs> the legs, uh, you, you need to uh, do in two sections, right? The, the, I don't know what's the name. Uh, there, there's a flank, not the flank. Uh, thigh. Thigh. Thigh, thigh that has the muscle, right? We mm -hmm. don't do that with this uh, stroke. We just do the. Fever. Yeah. Well, I, I, anyway, the upper leg, the lower leg, maybe. There you go. And there's a, there's a <laughs> joint. Um, in, in. So I, I normally hide the, the foot, the feet. I, I'll do the feet uh, separately if you want. Uh, and then the second one is. Uh, because the ink gets dry, you don't reload, so it will become, um, yeah, behind. We call it the softer or, or, or void, and more, uh, this is solid, right? Xu shi, I don't know, uh, you know the Chinese term, uh, solid and void. Uh, more void, more, uh, means so, solid, so, uh, with more flying white voids, okay. That's for the same brush as the beef? Oh yeah, this may be yeah. too small. Um, you 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 can use yeah. a bigger one. Yeah. I I think the best to just use the basic wolf brush for the neck. This yeah, you notice this might be too small. Depends on the size of the bird you are doing. Mm -hmm. So you can um, you can shift the brush if you have more brushes. But if you want to use one brush, I think a larger one. But be careful when you do the uh, eye because if you use large brush, just make sure the brush is not too wet. Um, let me get some more ink. I tend to use less ink because uh, um, that's a common mistake. If you use a lot of ink, you, you, ha you lose the gradation. Uh, everything's black <laughs> in the palette. Right. You, you, you don't want to waste the whole thing. So you'd rather do it uh, during the uh, painting. And I don't want to, because we, we have a dry climate here, so it gets dry too fast. So you, you, you want to keep it fresh. Um, okay. So you just keep the, uh, adding three drops of ink every time. Okay. The, the other uh, positions might be, uh, it could be like a, one. It depends on gravity, you know. Uh, one long, one short. Um, so this is, don't worry about gravity and the composition. Just the, the line quality is here uh, to, to emphasize. So you hide the tip. Um, let me just do a bigger one. It's like a writing, writing calligraphy, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you kind of can pull it back, uh, yeah, close up sure. to the yeah, one. And then you can do just like a bamboo, almost like a bamboo, bamboo stock. Right? Mm -hmm. You can leave. Uh, <laughs> Um, you know, when you paint bamboo, if you, if you make the joints look like a crane joint, it's a mistake. It don't, but here is the crane. You should make the, the joint, uh, not like bamboo. Right? Yeah. yeah, just make it, make it uh, like a... It's kind of uh, hard to balance. Um, if you make it too stiff, you might still make a mistake, you know, like it looks too, too hesitate. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a uh, let me see, maybe it has to do with the moisture or something. Speed, it's very subtle, that's why um, you have to, just like Tai Chi, you have to really um, coordinate everything. Mm -hmm. Like uh, speed, dry, uh, the, the loading, movement, uh, and the paper, everything works <coughs> together. So and the, you, the, the goal is to reach the right uh, line quality. Um, so, for example, I like like uh, I try to make some common mistakes. If you do things, things like uh, like that, uh, it's too soft. I, um, you know, if you I try to mimic. Uh, so that, that's not the current X, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's not rounded. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you can you can even with the joint because the line quality is is a. Uh, you have to hold the brush. 
you can uh, yeah you cannot see my my uh, oh, sorry I tried to show you the standard uh, position of painting you ha you can stand um, and just like uh, I think it, it's better to stand right bend your your knees a little bit um, and uh, uh, you need to have a posture. Yeah, posture. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. So your energy goes right from the bottom of the foot, not not just you know, um, like put your your, your leg across. The, the, this, you cannot do this kind of stroke uh, without uh, uh, putting your body, the whole body, to 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 work. Okay. So this is uh, just like calligraphy. You you have to put your a brush in the front of your nose. You cannot do something <laughs> like that. Uh, so yeah, you have to, you have to be without worry about uh, uh, composition. So the, the, if it, if it's right, it shows uh, the bone and round it, right? It, it, yeah. So in the end, even if it's in the water, you, you should uh, pause a little bit. So you don't uh, just like uh, skipping like, like that, right? Yeah. Um, okay. And then if you do the the toes and the claws, right? Claws. Uh, Talons. Talons. <laughs> yeah, that's a. We don't know web. No, no web. Uh, I think it's just. Uh, right. They're just right. Talon. Uh, okay. Uh, the toes. Before you get to that, could you show the posture where standing on one leg and the other? Oh, one not is you, yeah. You have to stand on both legs, I think. No, I know those are birds. Of bird. oh, the birds. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, standing on one leg. Okay. Yeah. So the the first leg has to be a little, um, just like a bend a little bit, right? Uh, let me do it on, on different paper. So, all right. Let me let me do a, a standing. Um, okay. The common mistake is, uh, you know, the the, bird, the the lifting leg uh, bent backwards, right? Not like uh, humans. So don't. Yeah, that's a very uh, easy <laughs> to fix the mistake. If you make a mistake, you will see it right away. <laughs> so the the bird lift backwards, um, and you don't really tend that leg. You just um, first of all, you just do the the talons, the ten, 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 talons, like like. Um, Tendons, how do you spell it? T A L O N S. T A L O N S. O N S. Talons. 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 Okay. Talons. Yeah. Uh, so it. That that's the the folding leg. It it goes partially. Uh, if I do the whole thing, it will be like uh, you know. But the the feather, maybe. I, I, we, yeah, we don't really do the whole whole leg for this leg. Uh, not not uh, not maybe not feather, just the the flank of the the, the other leg. Maybe hide that, maybe the tail, you know, something. But we normally don't do the the whole uh, cross. Like uh, you you don't want two legs cr uh, to cross each other, right? I'm not sure if we have uh, enough room, but uh, I tend to do the talons too big because my I have, my my foot is kind of big. <laughs> Maybe yeah. everybody has a different <laughs> personality. It will reflect for some reason. I, I wear like foot uh, like uh, eleven uh, shoes, <laughs> size eleven. So it, my my bird's always the size eleven. <laughs> you can do smaller ones. I, I'm not. 
<laughs> Kidding, I can see the difference. <laughs> if you do it, it will be smaller, because I always do my legs too big. I like to look, uh, otherwise I cannot stand and look like <laughs> 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 Your feet are big, they sound special. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you have to see the whole thing maybe next. I I'll do a demo. Um, so basically, uh, you can you can hide the uh, you can you can omit this leg even because sometimes it's, it's just hidden uh, in the water. Yeah, put back in the in the feather. So yeah. the the I body, yeah, the, it depends on the body. Yeah, you yeah, maybe just a little hint of the tendons. Yeah, right. and don't do this part. I just try to show you where it is. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think this part should be. I, yeah, just uh, hidden behind. Uh, see that? Uh, yeah, yeah. When you behind do the, the, the demo, can yeah. you point out how you align the legs with the head? Okay, um, it's a Tai Chi style. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, you have to see the whole. Um, it's not just a mechanical alignment. It's just feel of uh, balance. Yeah, I think uh, you so have to what? feel the bird. The the tai Chi, yeah. I mean, <laughs> maybe later I'll ask Victoria to demo Tai Chi. Uh, Victoria, oh. maybe you can do it now. <laughs> she, she's learning Tai Chi sword. That's that's a, um, best the best way to uh, explain the balance. You know, you 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 kind of move um, your whole body uh, to find the gravity. I mean, you move the gravity. Um, Find your core. Find the core. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for, for, for the words. Okay. So it's a, it's, there's no formula. If I can teach you how to balance the foot, I can teach Tai Chi. <laughs> I'm not a <laughs> Kung Fu master. <laughs> so unfortunately, um, you can copy first and then learn from, uh, you know, just uh, uh, if you make a mistake, you see the difference. Uh, why, why is it wrong? You know, that, that kind of thing. So, the, so let me let me do the hand out um, demo first. So the do the hand out. Uh, hand hand, the hand out. Yeah, you can uh, just check the pull, pull your hand out. Uh, follow my uh, the steps. Uh, so I, I just do the two birds. One is the folded neck, uh, neck, and then uh, one is behind. It's a little challenge because there are two. So you cannot do. Um, you have to do the front first. In watercolor, we do the back first. Right, so do the the front back first. Let me uh, do that. So the dark, uh, the front one is a little darker. I just use a little darker. I don't know what's in it, but I just adapt, attach a little water to the front, so mm -hmm. my I, it it won't give me a hard edge mm -hmm. to start with. Mm -hmm. Okay, Th that's a little trick I I don't show you. You don't even notice it. Mm -hmm. That's very important. So when I do dark, I touch a little water, and then the, usually I just go directly, because otherwise it will start to change. I don't know what's in it uh, sometimes. So I should have a rough idea of the size of the, the bird, so I don't do it too small or too big. Um, so you, if you don't know, my, my teacher always uses the finger. Finger line. Yeah, <laughs> finger line to, to map the, the control point. Um, so you can do the search, you know, like a mm -hmm. imaginative uh, grid, right? You have to be very fast. I, this mm -hmm. uh, you cannot do go slow. So you, mm -hmm. This is very uh, important. If you do it under time um, pressure, you do better. I should count like one minute painting. So just make up a little bit. Use dry brush strokes. Don't worry about missing, missing parts. Mm -hmm. You can make it up with, you know. Mm -hmm. But try to keep it uh, like the same. That if this part uh, should be lighter, you just uh, the bottom, the hue of the brush to make it up. It, you know, your brush may doesn't look like the same, but uh, mm -hmm. you have to know the brush is like your extension, uh, extension of your hand. So you know the, where it's dark, where you, I ro rotate it. See, I, I rotate. Uh, I, I don't go back to, to, to make it straight. My brush is, n to some extent, there's no spring. That's why I like it. <laughs> it it's a soft brush. So I, I, 
I rotate the brush, right? Okay. And when you when you add more, uh, you just you just add dark 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 uh, to break it to you know just dark. I try to to indicate the shoulder because I I learned this dark mark on the shoulder, right? <coughs> okay. Without going too much detail, just very suggestive. And if you don't need that dark, don't mimic me, okay? <laughs> yeah. Because if it's already too dark or too wet, you know, just don't just copy the the, the trace of my my sample. Just uh, learn the heart. <laughs> That's what the, uh, the ancient uh, master says. It's learn. spontaneous. Yeah, spontaneous. So you cannot really copy others, even yourself. And if you don't uh, copy, every time it's it's unique. Uh, there's a saying that uh, um, a, you know a painting is um, bound to fail, but uh, you know successful painting is accidental. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So take you have to take a chance. That's basically. So if you have a successful, that must be an accidental yes, yeah. painting. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So don't worry. You 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 don't worry because you know it's going to fail. You if you control it, mm -hmm. that's the you know the dilemma. I mean the the the, the, the paradox. Right? Mm -hmm. If you control, you you have more chance to 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 uh, fail. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just if you take a chance, you you, mm -hmm. you have more better better odds you know to succeed. Oh, um, I just wait a time for the. The head, so I, yeah, to dry. So I supposed to do this according to the the handout, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, yeah, it, because I have to do this before I can do the back. Otherwise, I, I have to void void. It's mm -hmm. kind of difficult, yeah. So I uh, because it's kind of too dark. What I do, um, I can use the barge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so let's just. Uh, what do we I think you know if you lifted the painting uh, because I added water, I know it's not pure ink. You can see the dark is not dark, right? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the trick. My te teacher always said, yeah, don't be fooled by the paper. If you put a uh, you know dark felt in under, you can you put you put the water on, it's dark. So you you have to know because you trust your experience. Because when I know that I did that. So there's no pure ink on my, my brush to start with. Now I use pure ink, pure, pure, pure. Uh, black. I can even grind it, mm -hmm. make it pure. So uh, when I got this, I know it will show after it dries. Mm -hmm. Even you cannot see it. Okay. I cannot see that. I have to trust my experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's, that's there. If you lift it, you, you, you should see the, the dark dot. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. Since you, I have this obscure eye on this one, the next one I have to, I correct this, so to you know, speak, a mistake. Because I have two birds, I have two chances to give you identity. Um, you know, if I do a, 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 a whole um, flock of birds, I only identify two or three, then the others are just abstract, mm -hmm. right? So, I, yeah. I have a question here. Yeah. How about this part here? I'm just gonna ask oh, that's the wisp. <laughs> I can add the wisp, wisp, the wisp, wisp, right wisp, 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 little feathers, wisp, right a, a, a wisp. string of uh, little feathers. It's a top knot. It, it doesn't show all the time. So oh. sometimes. Yeah, the the young one has this yeah, feather on on the front, like a crown. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Maybe you see it. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's the male one only. No, no, I mean, no. Oh, and we're learning. It's wisp, right? Wisp, sure. yeah. Nice. Wisp, nice. yeah. Okay, we add that later because I try to uh, add that as last touch, and then we can also add uh, some colors if we need. Uh, so next, I, I will change the procedure because we can do the 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 chest, you know, normally, but in this case, I'll do the neck or neck uh, the head. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you have to wait for the first one to dry? I, I have to avoid the uh, ink area. Ink area. So you, you can make a, a you avoid that, you leave a uh, 
keep it clear, <laughs> you understand? <laughs> yeah. Blank spot. So I try to make it parallel. I like parallel oh, in this. Um, um, so we just do, let me look at my handout. Okay. A little bit different. See, I, I don't really um, turn that brush, I just kind of fold it. Like, here, here's, you can see the folding, right? Mm -hmm. Left and right. Uh -huh. Right back, right? Yes. Here, there's no, no go around. That's the, the, the key, okay. So I said it's a Z, right? Mm -hmm. When you do an S, you tend to do this, mm -hmm. okay? So just avoid that, and avoid that, and do this. So just, I take advantage of the, the remaining ink. Um, so mm -hmm. this is very important. You, if you, you have to do both light and dry to make it behind. If, you, if it's too dark or too wet, mm -hmm. it pops up. Okay. It has to do with yin and yang, not, black, uh, not uh, light and dark, mm -hmm. like a shady or, or what. It just feels behind you if it's softer. More, more, we call it solid and, and void. Shi yeah. Okay. And this uh, leg also lighter, uh, more, you can, not lighter, dark, uh, drier maybe. So just, um, but here is the trick. Uh, I have to keep a, a little perspective thing. So you have to, if the leg is like here, you jump, pop up to the front. You have to uh, follow the vanish line. Somehow <laughs> it goes up, right? The vanish lines there, so it's behind, so you should be uh, taller than the first one, at least the same level. So you, you even I have the the thigh here, or it's just, you know I can change it. I don't, I ignore that. It doesn't matter. So because I, I really uh, want to keep the leg aligned uh, to you know to show the the distance. Yeah, the distance. It's smearing. Um, you have you have to blot it with uh, with just uh, like uh, yeah. maybe more, uh, pa paper towel has a texture sometimes. Just use a uh, yeah, just use a regular uh, just like a wasted uh, painting is the best to to blot it. So that that will stop it from bleeding. This I should have done that earlier. So you could uh, done it earlier so to avoid that blood. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You know I. I know it's there, but I ignore it. I keep doing it, <laughs> and you will like it because, uh, as I said, every painting has uh, some uh, mistake in it. <laughs> it's a, a success is is accidental. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember reading that the first thigh is actually up inside the body, so that's mm -hmm. why it mm -hmm. goes backwards because that bend is actually his ankle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. ankle. Oh, I see. So I try to make this more um, clear, defined, you know, and then the 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 whisks. Uh, so you can you can use the same brush. Um, it has to be darker. It's a darker mark on the like a, you know the matting uh, mark, right? This one. Oh, I cannot really see when I draw. Yeah, it, it's. I try to do it. Try, but that's a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> Repeating is not not, not a lot. But uh, if you if you can make it look like, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, like Oh, you like it? Yeah. That's a, that's a more realistic. That's how big it is. You know, when I look at the bird, big bird. Oh, I say they have like a very dark marking. You, I, you know, when I did the original one, I didn't really see the birds so closely. So when you, when you really observe, you uh, sometimes um, are more less free. <laughs> you have to, you have to. Uh, that's a tr that's sometimes a conflict in Chinese brush because you want to be interpretive, yeah, but yeah. you don't want to be inaccurate. Inaccurate, yeah, yeah. It's a balance between um, resemblance and non-resemblance, abstract and uh, represent representational. So like a Chibai painting, a shrimp, he um, he said, yeah, the, the beauty, the wonder is between uh, real and not real, <laughs> you know, something like that. 
part of the shrimp is very accurate and part of it is yeah, very yeah, accurate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, you have to, yeah, just to create it. Uh, you, the, for the background, you can add uh, grass, uh, reeds, um, or I can just splash, splat, uh, splatter uh, for water, something like that. Um, I'll leave that for your creation. Uh, I'll just sign it here. And you can use calligraphy to uh, write the, the uh, environment, uh, you know, just like... Uh, uh, Something uh, to express. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, um, um, yeah, I just write uh, descriptive. Uh, Yisuang, a pair, because they do have pair. Uh, Yisuang, Qingwu, blue heron. Uh, Standing by water, <laughs> just uh, my my uh, just descriptive title, and then the the uh, year of dark, uh, year of dark, spring. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I yeah, it could be a spring. I just put a year. Yeah, you can say spring as well, and uh, my full name Xiao Hui. So basically, you put down all of the ink first, and then the color goes over. Or do you ever work just with the color? Oh, that's fine. And um, I don't have any color in this example. So if you want the color, I can show you how to use the color ones. It's basically the same. Uh, I use the color on the on the back on the body. So um, this one. Uh, what does it say? Yi Shuang Qin Lu. It's on Qinglu Lingsui, standing by water. Yeah. Standing by the water. Now, I have a question. Yeah. I recently uh, did a workshop on Qinglu water. What's the difference between white and white and blue white? Oh. Different yeah. species? Species. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, it's much smaller. The, 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 the white one, yeah. Bigger. There's a great oh, white heron it's in big. Florida, oh, maybe. Yeah. There, so but there is a very small, uh, maybe they're marriage uh, between some uh, yeah, white uh, birds and. Uh, we do they come in other colors yeah. besides white and then? Oh yeah, there's a red, red one. Yeah. There's a red, uh, red neck one. Red neck, the, the red neck. Red neck heron. Uh, brown, brown. Uh, uh, yeah. Flamingo. It's from the south. The swamp eel and the. Uh, uh, yeah. There's a, uh, we saw the the bombiel. It's a flamingo kind of. Uh, in, in the United States, we have uh, that kind of the, red. The I think it, in flamingo, you can see here in the zoo, right? Yeah. I, I think I it's like the, the black and white. I think it's more abstract. Abstract, yeah. yeah. Colors. It could be, yeah. yeah. That's why I try to keep it. Uh, yeah. I have a suggestion. Uh -huh. Perhaps you could release us to go paint in black, yeah. black and then. Yeah, yeah. I'll stop for, stop uh, for now. So uh, just do the handout. We'll come back with more color and more expression, environment, that kind of thing.